Everybody was like, what was going to happen if a woman was chairing this group? There were some challenges, certainly, and to make sure that your voice was heard and that you could contribute. My first manager really didn't think women could be competent as engineers. I have to make sure I'm not constantly sensitive that I'm the only woman. When I started working on the space station, I never imagined one day I'd become the director. Sometimes you are in a position where you just can't develop anymore, you can't go on. In my career, I have hit the so-called glass ceiling, and I think that's also important that we are aware of that. It is a serious responsibility for me to demonstrate that women do have the capacity to serve at such a high level. We have come a long way. We have seen the increase in participation, we have seen the increase in leadership roles, but we are nowhere close to 50-50. We were creating technologies that would change the future. We are applying fundamental physics and engineering skills that are used around the world to help people solve real-world important problems. You know, to measure things that you know are there, you can't see, you can't feel, you can't smell, but you can make them visible on a measurement instrument. You can understand the effects. For me, that was pure magic. If you like to solve a problem, you get a kick out of getting that answer and drawing a circle around it. Engineering might be for you. So follow your heart and follow your dreams and you will make it. You have a part to play. And don't let anybody tell you what that part is. <laughs>